So here on the Aussie USD with this bullish Harami and this bearish Harami, set these two levels here as support and this level here as resistance. All right. And this level will hold as resistance until we get a close above it. This is the weekly candle. So of course it's taken, it takes some time to develop. So let's go inside that to the daily. Again, here we had that bearish Harami in the red block. And we had a bullish Harami here in the pink box. Set the low here at 71003 or 033 and set a high here. Now here on the daily, we do have an uptrend, consecutive bullish candles, all right? That particular uptrend was sealed off at this resistance level with this bearish Harami. All right, so we have a bearish Harami on the daily with a bearish Harami pattern here on the weekly. So we know we're ultimately at the highest point, likely for this month. So now we can go down one more level to the four hour. Here on the four hour in that particular area, we are in a range here with the, low, with the high being set here at the top of this box and the retrace low down here at the low of this box. All right, so we know the four hours here stuck in a range. Now let's go to the one hour. Here in the one hour inside of that range, we can see several peaks. We have a peak here, 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 and here. So let's level and find a median point here on these particular peaks. I'll use this one over here. This is the one I use. Which moves across and sets several peaks over here. Now using this peak, Since this is where price currently is right now in real time, we'll go into the 30 minute here on this particular peak. So now we're at a resistance area. We're also, if you notice at the high of today, yesterday's high of the day is here. All right. Also keep in mind the new session is get, gearing up, which is the New York session. Now we're down to the 15 minute. Also keeping in mind that we're setting a high of the day. All right, we can clearly see the intraday current trend right now is up to those resistance levels. Going into the five minute now. Now I'm looking at this peak situation here that created this structure. All right, we got bullish trend here. Here's the trend line. I'm gonna remove this little zone here. Now, ultimately, let's look at this, just focus at right now, real time current peak, which is this high. This right, this point right here in particular is the high of the day. High of the current day, high of the current week. This set two HODs, the high of the, well, two high, high peaks, high of the day, as well as the high of the week. All right, and this structure, is created right in here by these patterns here. This here is a bearish engulfing pattern. This particular long bearish candle here after the peak is a bearish engulfing.
So I'm actually going to enter another cell position right here. All right, I just entered another cell position on the Aussie USD. I also am going to enter 30 minute binary trades in just a moment. 30 minute sell binaries on Aussie USD. I'll let you know when I pull the trigger. So right now in this particular zone, we're setting the high of the day and the high of the week. And ultimately, that's why I've entered this cell position here. So that's all the USD and my explanation behind my current position. And I'm taking this position in this direction to the downside. All right, so I said MZB CAD. Let's pull that MZB CAD up. <laughs> All right, let's look at MVBK. Here, looking at NZB CAD right off the back, I would be looking to seek a short position. Are you currently seeking a long or short position on NZB CAD? Just right off the back, I could see uh, a potential short and opportunity. Right, right at the back, uh, no, position. okay. Right at the back, I can somewhat, I can see a short opportunity, but we'll go ahead and dive into this one. I'm gonna start on the four hour chart. Here, looking at the four hour chart, I can see several peaks. I'm gonna, I see this one, this one, this retrace peak, this one here this one and this one. So let's go ahead and bump them off. There we got one. There we got one. There we got one. Now this current one here, set the high of last week and is currently being retested as this week's high. All right, so right off the bat, we can see that there. High, high, look at the RSI, it's also giving away divergence down there. Let's go into the one hour. Here's the one hour chart, here's that double top. And this is also setting the high of the day, high of the week. We'll likely be coming down pretty hard on this New Zealand CAD. I actually think it'll be wise to take a position. Let's take a, I'm gonna take a short position here on this New Zealand CAD. All right, I dropped a short position on New Zealand CAD. Let's go into the 15 minute. Here's the 15 minute again, still showing that double top. All right, let's go back over to all the USD. I'm gonna get ready to take that binary options trade. 
I'm going to take that trade at the close of this current uh, five minute candle. I'll take a 30 minute trade on it. All right, I entered a 30 minute sell short position on all the USD just now. Binary options. Now let's look at, what was another one? Um, just 30 minutes because I want thir two full 15 minute candles. So I want this current 15 minute candle and one more 15 minute candle to put us down in this area, which will be about 9.15 Eastern. <laughs> So a 30 minute trade gives us two 15 minute candles.
So for that binary on uh, Aussie USD, it should expire at 9.15. We're gonna go hop on gold. Let's see gold. Now gold should still be heading uh, in a bearish direction. So gold should still be heading downward. Good deal. You have to swing from uh, yesterday's position. Good catch. So here's gold. And let's take a look at this peak here. Gold just broke down through this uh, the resistance area. So we actually should see gold still continue down here in the 1770 area. We use our Fibonacci here from this particular swing low up here to this swing high. We should see price come down in here to the 1775 for gold. So we should continue bearish pretty, pretty strong here on gold. So with that being said, a short on gold, short on Aussie USD, and um, short on New Zealand CAD.
Everybody good with that short on Aussie USD, short on gold, and short on New Zealand CAD. Anything else anybody else looking at? Let me know if you want me to uh, pull it up and mark it up.
My bad, I didn't realize I hit mute. But yes, I'm long on Euro, uh, USD CAD. Here's that, that analysis right here that I just did. I didn't realize I was on mute. But we have the low of the day being set here on USD CAD. So uh, be wise to take a long position here. You guys can hear me now, right? Um, did I do Euro USD? I, I don't think, no, I didn't do Euro USD. Let's break that down real quick. I believe it's setting the high of the day as well. Okay. Remember, a, a trend is identified by three or more consecutive candles okay whether it's bullish or bearish so right with that being said let's focus on right here here's the euro usd one hour chart let me get these other indicators off the chart real quick okay so with that being said we have one two three bullish candles this is a trend okay we have a trend a small bearish trend bullish trend on the euro usd all right. Now, at the after this series of three, we all of a sudden have bears to come in and stop this trend. All right. So when you have a trend established, the trend is either over or stalling as soon as you get an opposite directional candle. So with that being said, we have three bullish candles, a bullish trend. Then we have a bearish candle here that engulfs the previous one. So trend over, all right? Trend is over, all right? Trend is over. So we have the peak and we have the new low. Here's the range. The breakout will occur out of this box, all right? That, but, but, but that bearish candle there created the structure. So now we must break out of this box. This is the one hour chart. So now we know what box the one hour chart needs to break out of. Now let's go to the 30 minute. Here on the 30 minute, we see that upward trend. Then we see the bears come in with this series of three and, and take it out. So the trend over. Okay, again, now that structure is created with the peak and the new low. Everybody following me? So we know this area is resistance. We know that's a resistance area. All right, we got about eight more minutes on the Aussie USD sale. It should be coming in the profit in a minute. I snuck about three more in when it peaked up, peaked up. But going back to the Euro. So now we know one hour charts in this yellow range, 30 minute chart is in this red box. Now here's the five minute chart inside of the, both of those zones that we created. Just staying on the 30 minute to identify the trend, we can still see that it's established in the downward direction. 15 minute chart, downtrend, retrace. So let's pull out our Fibonacci here and go from this peak high to this peak low. You see, we're sitting right at the 61.8. So right here is a pr prime time to sell this year on USD. All right, it's a good time, to, opportunity to sell this year on USD. Good area to sell this year, USD. We'll get the expansion. We should be 
uh, some A to B, B to C. Here go our expansion should bring us back down in here to the low of the day and hopefully take that out. All right, so if that's the low of the day here. I expect price to uh, honestly come down in this area. That's about 15.7, so about 30, 40 pips down is what I expect here on this uh, Euro USD today. Going back into the five minute chart. This is what we're uh, looking at now. I'm gonna clear this off one more time. Looking here at this five minute chart, we see the uptrend here. And then we have bears start coming in right in here. If I go to the higher time frame, it'll also show me that. Just back in that retrace zone on the 30 minute. Everybody following me on this euro? So that is a sale position on the euro. This 30 minute ultimately should close down here. Clearly we can see this downtrend here. Uh, you good to go, Greg uh, Towns, on that uh, euro? Any questions about that euro? Tomorrow, we're going to do some analysis with uh, some of the moving averages. I know a lot of you guys, uh, I know a lot of people use the moving averages. So tomorrow, I'll put together, I have a strategy I put together utilizing the moving averages that we'll go over tomorrow.
And I just took another 30 minute uh, binary on all the USD. That USD CAD long, gold short, euro short. Euro GBP long. So let's uh, scout this uh, Euro USD. All right, so by scalping this Euro USD, we see the uptrend. We see the uptrend here, boom, 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 boom. Closed off by this gravestone doji bearish pattern. So we'll hit that high here. All right. From here, this peak was down to here before we had another bear bullish candle. So here's the baseline. Or well, the neckline for this continued downtrend. Peak here, retrace to here. So here's the range box here on the five minute chart. So which way are we gonna break out? Let's go to the one minute chart and see. Here we have a downtrend, small bearish candle, another bearish candle, this trend still down. Trend still down right in here. So that should push this five minute through there and we should continue down for the for really the rest of the day. Now that we've sealed off the high of the uh, day and the high of the month or the high of the week. Everybody see how I just um, analyzed this little range box here? Now this strategy can be used with binary options. I just took a 10 minute binary options trade sell on this Euro USD. 
10 minutes will put me at the close of this 30 minute candle here. Considering we're still in a bearish trend, we should definitely be coming and close this 30 minute down here somewhere. This next 30 minute candle to close is the 930 New York candle. So we should see some increased uh, volume and um, some major shifts coming in in just a moment. 